know today that Mother Robinson has gone to a better place. Now, now usually, when someone passes away, those are the words that are said by most people. They've gone to a better place. But I want to tell you today that that is not true for everybody. Come on, you can say amen. There are two eternal places. The place called heaven. There's a place called hell. That heaven is a prepared place for a prepared people. And the only way to the Father is through His Son, Jesus Christ. Can you say amen? Amen. Amen. If you want to go to a better place, You've got to know the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. You have to have your sins forgiven. You have to be washed in the blood. You have to live in this life to prepare yourself for eternity. Amen. Amen. And I want you to know again that Mother Robinson has gone to a better place. Amen. Sometimes we act in such a way that only a mother can love us. Amen. Mother Robinson was that mother. That would love us. Come on, y'all can say amen to that. She showed us the love of God. She greeted us with love. Every time we came to Mother Robinson's presence, we never left the same way. If we came with a heavy heart, a heavy spirit, if we came with our mind all twisted up, the minute that we saw that beautiful smile, the minute that she threw her loving arms around us, the minute that she shared God's love with us, we never changed. That's a mother's love. Anytime she would greet me, she would say, God bless you, my beloved bishop. Say amen. 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 We have come as far as we can go on this side. But rest assured that Mother Robinson rests with the Lord. Amen. 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 And at this time, we're going to ask our minister, Sandra Lashley, to read a portion of God's Word. Let us listen carefully to the reading of God's Word. Thank you, but I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren. And with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain, and so shall we be ever with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Amen. Let us say amen. 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 We're going to invite our minister, Carolyn Thomas, to read a portion of God's word at this time. And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Write, blessed are the dead which died in the Lord from henceforth. Yea, 
says the spirit that they may rest from their labors and their works do follow them amen you have to make your heart right with god so that we will be prepared to meet the lord when he comes the lord may come while we are alive but if the lord tarries that means each and every one of us must pass this way amen amen, amen. Amen. Tomorrow's not promised. We don't know when that day will be. It should be our desire to ensure that our hearts are right with God. And those of us who are alive and remain shall be caught up together to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as you know, your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Say amen, everyone. Amen. amen. Our dear committed sister Robinson, we want to commit this body, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. I'm looking for the last resurrection Heavenly Father, we thank you and we commit our dear sister to your arms because you love her more than we love her. And because you love her more than we love her, we are asking the Lord to remember the family as well left behind. Heavenly Father, we ask you to comfort this family as we commit this body into the earth. Earth to earth, hallelujah, glory to God. And as we see her descend into this earth, we will see her again in a new body a resurrected body, hallelujah, a wonderful body. And therefore, we look forward to seeing her again in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, amen. Okay. The church now is your church. Okay, we are here for you. And on behalf of Bethel Evangelical Church and the United Evangelical Council of Christian Churches Incorporated, we extend our deepest sympathies to you and we pray that the Lord will continue to bless you and keep you and comfort and strengthen you in Jesus' name.